All right, let's go over gold. All right, what we do, guys and gals, the first thing we do, we have two charts to set the trades up. We have a black chart that has volume profile, which are the solid lines, solid blue, solid red, solid green. And then we have price profile, which are the dotted lines, dotted blue, dotted red, dotted yeah, uh, green also. Low values in green, control point, the most volume is traded is in blue, and then high values in red. What we do, the first thing we look at, we look at the trend filter. If the trend filter is angled down, then we're looking for shorts. If the smaller moving average is angled down also or has spread against it, you're in a hard trend down. So what we're going to do is look for retracements, sell retracements. So what we do is we're going to look for a break retest. It's called a rotation or I like a little hook. You, you have a big five-minute candle down this morning on gold. It broke through price profile, LVA, and volume profile. It broke through it. You let it hook back up, let it retest within a couple ticks, max three ticks. And what you want to do, you got to come within two, two ticks, three ticks. You're going to look for a continuation sell. That's a simple ABC pattern. We went over yesterday's video, the same exact setup we had in crude. Break, LVA, low value area yesterday in crude to hit today in gold. Let it retest back into the area and look for a negative market delta over here, which I'll show you. It's a simple ABC pattern short. <clears throat> now, the white chart, the cool thing about that chart, that's a setup chart also, it will let us know if we have a confluence on the trade. We did have confluence. <clears throat> you have your Fibonacci dots that were firing exactly at this retracement. And this black line is a volatility line, and it creates uh, natural support and resistance. So this gave us the volume profile as resistance, the control point as resistance, and this black line, which I call the line in the sand. I call that a line in sand trade. And uh, that gave resistance with the fib. So that's four times sell confluence right at the high. Now if I go over to my market pro on my market delta, there's my sell imbalance right at the high. As we broke, retested on that ABC wave, is a really nice, pretty setup. It broke through, big five minute candle down. It retested, and there is your beautiful ABC pattern short. That was just very, very pretty. Downtrend, we don't try to buy, we look for a rotation down, break, let it hook back up, let it retest, and then there's your continuation down. And then what we'll do is we'll look for negative market delta to fire us in the trade. There is your negative market delta right at the retest. Anything on gold over 50 is a major sell imbalance. It was negative 55 which gave us a really nice um, continuation pattern to go short. Once this red bar closes, this red bar closes right here on market delta that shows us the sell imbalance between the bid and the ask. Once that closes, you open it up at the next bar, your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. There's your limited risk on the trade. And then your, your fill was on a live fill, would have been 89.40, 89.30. They got as low right now as what, 86, I'm sorry, 85.10. So just a nice little uh, $400 trade per one contract. And it all started at the time of day trade. I tell you guys and gals to watch out pre-news with gold. It loves to trade pre-news for unemployment claims. They come out at 8.30 this morning. Every Thursday at 8.30, unemployment claims releases. And you get, typically you'll get a pre-news trade right around 7.45 to 7.50. That's my time of day to look for a gold pre-news trade, and uh, that's a nice window, and it hit for us this morning. I will be looking for an additional setup coming up. I'll go over that in a second, but that's exactly how we do things. We look for, if trends down, we're going to look for a simple rotation, break, retest. It's an ABC pattern. It's a very simple pattern we look for where you just look for a break through low value area. We don't try to buy low value and downtrends. You're not buying low value and downtrends. You're trying to let it break and then you're trying to let it retest. It's a simple ABC pattern short, and it's been working since 1985 since market profile has been introduced. Some people call it a one, two, three pattern. Some traders call it a continuation pattern or a breaking out of a consolidation pattern. I call it an ABC or one, two, three because you're letting it break. It catches the wrongly positioned traders, and then you're letting it retest, a natural retest, and then that is going to be your entry point on the retest after market delta turns negative. Red and market delta between the bid and the ask. So that is a simple ABC I just drew up for you right there. Play yesterday's video on crude and you'll see the exact same thing. We had two ABCs yesterday on crude and right there is your ABC pattern. Now what I did yesterday, I showed you 
the sweet spot on ABC patterns is 62 to 76% retracement. If I take that swing high and that swing low, look how pretty that is. It's got to be above 50%. You cannot take shallow retracements that's below 50% because those typically get stopped out. A lot of traders don't understand that. Anything below this is a shallow retracement. Look, it got right above 50%, almost 62% retracement just underneath it. And that gave you the overall signal to uh, that you know you're in a nice ABC pattern. ABC should should be between 50 to 76% retracement on a move. Okay? So nice ABC pattern short. If the trend's down, let it break, let it retest, look for negative market delta, and that's what we got over here. Uh, scaling, remember, you can scale with symmetry dots. Your first scale was the first set of symmetry dots here. That's why we use symmetry dots. Symmetry dots were designed to reduce risk with contracts. So let's say if you're short four contracts and you entered right here at the with J signal right there and the market delta turned red, you would scale at the first set of symmetry dots and then the second set of symmetry dots, you would scale additional contracts because they are also support resistance, but mainly they used to get out of contracts and know where to scale. In hard trend days, we want to go for the third set of symmetry dots because that is typically around a $700, six, six to $700 trade per one contract. So you can see our scale points are right there based upon the symmetry dots. I like to do it two ticks in front of symmetry, okay? So we're doing, and there are the blue dots right there. What we're doing, guys and gals, then, is we are using the, the market profile chart over here to profile the market. These big solid lines, well, what they do is they actually look at all the volume that's been traded with all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, all this stuff, and it, it gives you major support and resistance. This is not a lagging indicator. These are very leading. That's what separates us from a lot of traders out there. Go over to uh, crude, Gerald. Go over to crude real quick. If I look on crude, we got a crude oil trade that's developing as we speak. The trend was down. The trend was down inside of crude. We had, we had a couple retests, an earlier retest short. We had a retest rejected trade here that for you early morning traders, that was a sell, broke the control point, retested the control point on two, two setups, broke retested there at two times confluence, and now we're into a high value sell right now. So the same thing on crude, look at the angle of our trend filter is down, and look what we're doing here. We're trying to rotate off of the high value area as we speak with negative market delta, so it's trying to rotate here. We've got to watch market delta really close right here because we're in the infancy of the trade. So if you look, those are the crude trades this morning. Here's your natural rotation. You broke through. Look at the big five-minute candle down, trend down. It rotated back up. Hit my LVA, rotated back up into two times a control point and LVA, three times short, three times confluent short. Really pretty. That gave you one inflection point there. And you're allowed to take second test trades. And then it came back up, and it gave you a second entry point, second test trade off the control. Remember, off the control, the blue line is the most volume that's traded in that instrument, okay, when I start calculating market profile. And that is the strongest area because it is a high volume area. That's the highest volume that's been traded. But if you look, look out stacked over my long-term control point. My long-term control point's right there at 53. This is a level I told you yesterday to watch out for. 53 was my number with news and my number was 60. It hit the news with 60 yesterday, called the low, went up to 53, went back down, and then it shot through, almost retested 50 on the 53 on the retest and shot straight up. So this is a major inflection point this morning we're gonna watch out for. If it breaks through eventually, you're gonna have a, a nice little breakout continuation. But you can see how we trade this. If, if when you when you're in a downtrend, you look for a simple rotation, look for a break. Hook back up, retest, ABC pattern. Break, retest, right? And then the high value area to downtrend with negative market delta, it's it's actually working right now. We gotta watch it though because it's still in the infancy of the trade. There's your negative market delta over here to get us uh, sell it and balance on this setup. You'll do this with all markets. It's the same exact way, no matter what market you trade, same exact setup right across the board, all right?